Hey folks, welcome back to NC State Dendrology. I'm here at Lake Johnson, which is a Raleigh City Park, pretty close to campus, and here to teach you about Galeucasia frondosa. So that's dangleberry or huckleberry. And you can see it growing um, just down behind me. It's a little bit sunny today, but this is a low growing um, clonal shrub. So the first thing to know it by is that it grows in these um, kind of low areas. It's not that common of a species in the Piedmont, much more common in the, at the coastal plain, but um, it grows, you know, maybe one and a half to two feet tall. Um, throughout the forest in this um, deciduous shrub. So let's talk a little bit about how to identify it. So it is often confused with blueberry um, and that's because the leaf shape is very similar. So if we're looking at these leaves you can see that they are uh, moderately elliptical and you know I know this just by looking through the woods I can see it growing um, kind of on the ground in these kind of clusters through the forest. Um, the leaves are kind of a bluish green color and they have a blunt tip so they're not um, they don't have a pointed tip and that's something that is shared with blueberry and in fact this is also in the ericaceae or the blueberry family fruit type is a berry and you can also probably see that the leaf margin is entire so it doesn't have teeth on it and it's fairly smooth um, the other thing you can notice is that the twigs are only the new growth is green the rest of the twigs are brown so that's something that's important and a lot of people confuse this with blueberry. It's very hard to tell. And so the test for doing it is to rub the leaf on a piece of paper, on a piece of white paper or a t-shirt. And I'm not sure if you can see the yellow mark, but yes, there it is right there. So Galeucasia, all species of Galeucasia have yellow glands on the undersides of the leaves. And that makes them leave a yellow mark if you streak it across a piece of white paper or a white t-shirt. So that's one way to know Galeucasia and to separate it from Vaccinium or the blueberry family. But it is, like I said, also in the blueberry family and very closely related. Um, produces blue-black fruits. They're not especially tasty, but they do have high um, and important wildlife value. So that's what we have for Galeucasia frondosa or huckleberry or dingleberry.